Well, welcome back to Paris, where the streets are still filled with people showing their solidarity with the victims of last week's terror attacks, more than two million of them. An unprecedented display of defiance and national unity. And in the UK and around the world, there have been similar rallies. In London, major landmarks were lit up with the colour of the French flag, including the National Gallery, Trafalgar Square and London Bridge. Marchers took to the streets of Ramallah, while others paid homage to the victims in Jerusalem. In Australia, hundreds gathered in Sydney's Martin Place, the scene of that city's own hostage drama last month. And in Indian-administered Kashmir, thousands rallied to stress that Islam is a peaceful religion. Well, joining me now is the political analyst and writer Dominic Moisey. How lasting is a day like this? I mean, it feels like a big release, but the divisions and the worries have all been sown, haven't they? Well, it's a day of grace that follows three days of horror. The French feel good today because they have demonstrated to the world and above all to themselves their national unity. How long will it last? It depends of us to a large extent. It depends of our political leaders, their ability to transcend small politics in the name of the nation. It depends of all the communities in France. I mean, in a way, hasn't that national unity been rather exposed? Yes. You know, the truth, the underlying truths behind it, the, you know, the way communities are marginalized, the way people are divided, the, the way politics here is divided. It, you know. Well, uh, clearly, there is a French problem. This is the first time you've seen so many people in the streets since World War II, since the celebration of the liberation of France. And the reason for those large that large demonstration is that people have declared war on France, and they have declared war on France in the name of Islam. They, they, they also targeted specifically Jews. Well, and, and the Israeli leader, Benjamin Netanyahu, today said something that rather riled a lot of people here, saying, well, effectively inviting French Jews to Israel. Yes, but that is a tradition of uh, Israeli Prime Minister. Uh, Sharon did the same thing more than 10 years ago. It's normal for them to say, your land is Israel. And it is for the Jews of France to say, well, no, we are French. We are Jews, but we are French. And we want our future to be in our country if we can leave and be protected. And this is why the message given by Prime Minister Manuel Valls was so strong yesterday, saying that France without the Jews is not France. What did you make of that gathering of world leaders today? Egypt, which imprisons journalists, Turkey, which arrests journalists, Russia, all these countries with ghastly records on press freedom, in truth, leading well, a march to do with freedom of speech. Well, one day there will have to be a debate on the relationship between dictatorship, despotism, and the rise of fundamentalism in the Arab world. That is clear. Uh, but today, it was international politics, global politics. There was a demonstration of unity against terrorists, and this was good. But of course, this is not the end of the story. Dominic Morrissey, thank you very much. Thank you. Indeed.